Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Azure Active Directory. And in this video, we are going to talk about password writeback. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about self-service password reset, whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing what is password writeback, how exactly it works, how to enable password writeback on AAD Connect, and what are the logs that you should refer to to troubleshoot password writeback issues. So in a nutshell, Password Writeback is actually a service that's been enabled on AAD Connect so that the synced identities can reset their password using self-service password reset. And the core fundamental behind this is that this service helps Azure Active Directory to write back passwords to your local Active Directory. Now, since this is a premium feature offered by Azure Active Directory, what you need is Azure AD Premium P1 license. But if you have any of these SKUs available in your tenant, you can assign them to users and they will be able to use this particular feature. Now, there are a couple of benefits using password write back. The very first one is on-prem password policies are applied. That means the complexity, the character checksum, and the password age. All the policies that you have defined on-prem will be applied to the password reset request whenever initiated by any of the user. It's a real-time synchronous process. That means the moment user tries to reset the password, at the same time, it has been written back to your Active Directory. Also, as an admin, you can reset the password of the user from portal.azure.com, but as of now, it is not supported from Office 365 portal. And the best part behind enabling password writeback is that there are no inbound ports required on your AAD Connect server because it's the sync engine, password sync engine itself, which queries Azure Active Directory to see if there is any request pending to get updated on-prem or not. Now let's talk about how to enable password write back. For that, I'm going to switch to my machine where I have installed AAD Connect so that I can show you the settings that you have to do in order to enable password write back. So this is my machine where AAD Connect is installed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the configuration wizard because then only we would be able to enable or disable any feature which is available. Now, this requires global admin credential. For my current setup, it is already enabled. So if I'll click on, let's say, view current configuration and I'll click on next, as you can see, it is showing password write back enabled. But in order to enable this feature, what you have to do is you have to click on customize synchronization option, then click on next, enter your global admin credential. And then when we'll come at this particular option of optional features, it will give you the option to enable or disable password write back. Now, since you're making changes to the current configuration or you're just enabling password write back, try not to make any changes from the options which were already selected from your previous setup. So as you can see right now, password write back is enabled for me. Now, for your setup, you have to just select this option and then click on next and a synchronization process will be initiated once the password write back is enabled for your tenant. Now there is one more thing which is very important and which I would like to show you guys and that is the logs that get generated for AAD Connect. So for that you have to go to program data and then select this folder of AAD Connect. Now, since I have already enabled password write back in my tenant, so what I'll do is I'll check the trace logs wherein I can show you what all happens when you try to enable a particular feature. So now what you have to do is just search for password write back, and then there will be a log named as password write back utility, which will show you what exactly going on. So as you can see that this is where the password write back was enabled by one of my global admin. And as you can see that these are the different endpoints which are accessed in order to enable this feature for your tenant. Now, if you're getting some error while enabling password write back for your particular tenant, then what you can do is you can actually refer to these logs and these logs will help you to figure out what exactly going wrong. 
So now we have enabled password right back and then the next process is to check how exactly it works. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my machine where I have a different browser and where I will try to reset the password for one of my user and let's see if it works or not. So this is my browser from where I'll try to reset the password for one of my user and then we will check what are the logs that are getting generated on event viewer of your AAD Connect server. So I'm just typing my username and then I'll type the CAPTCHA mentioned here. It's DJSQS5 and I'll click on next. Now, as of now, there are certain things which are getting verified. The very first one is whether the user is licensed or not. The second one is whether password write back is enabled for your tenant or not. And the third one is whether the user has completed the registration process or not. If the user has not completed the registration process, then all this information will not be shown to you. So what I'll do is I'll quickly verify my contact number here and then I'll resume the video. So I have received the OTP now and I'll click on next. Now the moment I will click on next, I will be prompted to change my password. I'm typing a new password for me that should comply all the policies of on-prem environment. That means my password should be complex enough so that it should adhere the policies defined on-prem and then only the password reset policy will get completed and the password will be written back to your Active Directory. And as you can see that my password has been successfully reset. Now I'll switch back to my AAD Connect server and I will show you the logs that get generated. So I'm just going to refresh the logs which are getting generated in Windows application log. And then let's see if you are getting any password reset logs. And as you can see, it is showing that for this user, which is idp at conceptswork.com, the password has been successfully reset. Now, if there will be any issue, likewise, permission issue or any endpoint which is not accessible, you'll get different type of errors. And the fact is that this is the same console which you have to refer so that you can get more insights that if password write back is failing, what could be a reason behind that? So I'll quickly search for some errors that I was getting initially so that I can show you how to fix this problem. Now, as you can see that these are the errors that I'm getting and if I open any one of them, as you can see, it says that there is a particular endpoint which was not able to communicate properly or there was some connection loss. So all my agenda is to let you know that if for any user the password reset service is failing, just come to this console, search with that UPN and you will be able to figure out what exactly the issue is and why any user cannot reset the password. So now I'm going to switch to my deck wherein I will be telling you the exact flow, how exactly the password write back works. So whenever any user tries to sign in to aka.ms forward slash SSPR, what exactly happens that it is checked whether the user is licensed or not to use this feature and whether password write back is enabled or not. Now, when I say password write back is enabled or not, what you have to make sure that user should be enabled to use the feature called self-service password reset, which requires a group assignment and wherein a user should be a member of that particular group. You can also do this for all of your users. This is something which I have covered in a lot more detail in our previous video. Now, the next thing that happens that once the user has successfully registered, you can also verify whether both the options that you have selected as a required information is available for that particular user or not. For that, you have to go to user and then click on authentication methods. So once all these things are in place, the user can reset the password. And if it is failing for some reason, you can actually refer to the logs, which I have just shown you. Now, let's quickly talk about the summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about the password write back process, how to enable it, what all AAD Connect configuration is required, how to refer different logs to check whether password write back as a service facing some issue or password reset request for a 
user is not getting complete. Now, as per the playlist, we have tried to cover all the set of information which is moreover related to Azure Active Directory. But this video, the next video, will be the last video for Azure Active Directory wherein I will be covering about the band password. If you guys think that I have missed something or if you want me to create a specific video for any particular feature, please share in the comment section and I'll try to cover them. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a great day ahead. And if you have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe.